It may sound like an unlikely relationship, but dogs are working to help protect tigers. Trained dogs are now assisting tiger researchers to determine how many Amur tigers live in areas of eastern Russia simply by studying tiger excrement, or scat. We use two kinds of dogs. We use the scent matching dogs, which we use to identify individuals from scent and scats. And then we use these dogs called scat detection dogs, which we actually take in the field with us when there's no snow to help us find scats. There are certain qualities to look for when determining which dogs would be successful at either scent matching or scat detection. Breed is one factor. German Shepherds, for example, can be a good fit. But there are several other important characteristics too, especially for scat detection. We pick a dog that really wants to play with an object, uh, and then we use that object to train them to find the scats. So the dogs go in the field with us are not actually tracking the animal. They're looking for a scat so they can play with their ball. Scent matching dogs have a different motivation. With the scent matching dogs, we're looking for a dog which is also obsessed with something, but more for our purposes, we're, we're looking for the dog that's obsessed with food. And these specialized behaviors don't take that long to develop. If you start with a dog that's about a year old with basic training, they're not, you know, they have good temperament this way, it doesn't take that long. It takes about two months. He's already used to riding in a car, he's been socialized with people, and he really wants to play with that ball. You could take him out in the field in, in a few weeks and start actually doing detection work. Scientists then use this information the dogs help them find to help determine the number of tigers in the area, as well as the identification of specific tigers.